All right, all right, all right. You're on Swede's Garage YouTube channel. <clears throat> Hi, I'm back. This is Eric in uh, on in the in on Swede's Garage YouTube channel. So I thought I'd start this video by showing you what I found inside the oil pan of that engine that lost the piston. So it's going to look like this. <clears throat> I shook this out of the pan, but <clears throat> I'm looking for I'm I'm looking for another block with the pan. This is the only oil pan I have for the five cylinder, and it's going to be impossible to clean this out perfectly because of all the the baffles that's in it. It's one up here. And it's one down there and they're kind of riveted uh, in the pan so I don't know if if I could grind off the heads on the rivets and tap the holes and put this back with screws and loctites uh, I don't know and I mean I got plenty of time before I'm building the engine so I might work on it try it and see if it works or not but the block I've been showing you in, in previous videos the pistons I have for this block is not the pistons that came with the block so I haven't measured them or anything so I don't know what kind of play they have in the cylinders and I don't know I would like to get a, another uh, complete block I don't need the head and anything else I just need the block and the pan crank I have crank I have uh, two crank two different cranks so I'm kind of looking for just just the block and the lower parts like this this girdle, girdle here and the old pan I got everything else but it's got to it's got to be pistons in it uh, I don't need the crank I don't need the rods but I need the pistons that goes with the block so if any of you guys uh, have anything or know anything I'm more than happy to to pay for it and the shipping uh, so well anyway just think about it let me know if you if you stumble over anything I had one subscriber that offered me a, an engine but uh, it's too far away I can't go get it and yeah I wish it was closer so I could have gone and, and picked it up but it's uh, 117 miles Swedish miles one way so it's not worth it to drive and pick it up. And all the connections I have in the in the trucking business, they don't have anything in that direction. So I can't have any of my connections pick it up either. So, but anyway, if you guys know any block, let me know and see if we can fix something because this block this is a 2.3 block with new pistons but it does I, don't, I think it's on the other side they really messed it up between the the girdle and the block the surface here I think it's on the other side it's a really big gap so I don't know what they've done with this block uh, I'm going to look a little bit closer on it after I get it out of the car but I'm think I think this block is I think this block is trash too if they if they messed up this the surface here because they have no gasket between the girdle and the block they have no gaskets it's only glued together with a special glue so it has to be perfect 
the surfaces have to be perfect for it to not leaking but we'll see that later but uh, I kind of I'd rather have a, a two point the B uh, 5254T block because the pistons in that block has got a higher compression than the 2.3 block so I rather have a a 2.4 block but it's got to be the the B5254T that's the only block I'm interested in and the marking, the marking is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but here on top of the water pump on the block, there's the marking. So if you know where to look, it's not very hard to find it. It's right on top of the water pump. It's the, see like this one is a B5234. T. And there's also a, an engine number there. But uh, that's what's going on with the engine right now. I mean, I'm not building an engine right now, but I just want to let you know what's going on with it. I'm going to continue with my wire harness here. And uh, I'll let you uh, see what happens. So this is this is for the heater core and it's got a rubber behind here to seal the noise from the engine room into the cab and this is going to be pretty close to the to, to the turbo exhaust housing so I made this to put on here Let's see how it fits I got a, I'm gonna tuck it in under this black one here, but I'm not doing that right now because I wanna test the fitment first. So it wasn't pretty. Maybe I maybe I do a new one and If I do a bigger one and then I fold the edges and sew it together, then you get a prettier edges. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring out the sewing machine, I think. Yeah. So. <coughs> See if I can get the oil pan up here. Turn this little bit like this. I hope you see better now. It's a little bit dark under here too, but <clears throat> let's see how this goes. if you get the wires out of the pan.
So why did I need a pan on the engine? Yeah, because of oops, the dipstick. So the dipstick tube goes here and it attached under it's supposed to go under the intake manifold like that. And I'll bring you in a little bit closer. It's kind of hard to get the dipstick to check the oil. And I haven't even got it in here too. So I need to reroute the dipstick tube. And the question is which direction? And I think I think this way is the shorter distance to get it up here then get it up on the other side and I also got to do a, a new bracket for it because I thought about bending it like a soft bend from down here so it goes really soft bend but it's going to be an S bend so That was my plan. That way I can get it up here so it comes up around here. Then it would clear the upper radiator hose and it's easy to to get to it. So The question is, can you bend it with a regular pipe bender? I have two dipstick tubes, so I can afford to mess one up, but not the other one, not the second one. You think this is going to work? This is just a regular bender for copper pipes. Okay, it touches this one, so maybe I should cut that off first, because I can't use that anyway. It's a lot of thinking before you. Okay. Gonna bend it that way. So we're gonna put it this way. Upside down here. But if I'm gonna do a soft bend. Maybe I just start a little bit here, see what happens. Just a little bit. We do.
launches dot. Let's go see in the car, on the, on the engine, where it ends up. <coughs> Turn it the right way, it's easier. Ooh! It's getting closer. Gotta bend it a little bit more. <coughs> Let's see then. Just gonna go do a quick check. Man, that turned out perfect. I'll show you here. Like so, just make a extend this bracket over here, and it's it's all centered in the hole in the oil pan, so that the O-ring in the end of the tube is going to seal it perfectly. And wait until you see the upstairs. I gotta hold it now, but like so. Let me put the dipstick in. Turn it like that. I think I'm going to get that to clear the upper radiator hose. It's going to be tight, but I think it's going to clear it. In the worst worst case, I have to re-weld the, the thermoset housing so the, it goes more straight instead of in an angle. But uh, here's where the dip, dip, dip stick is going to be. So I just got to extend that bracket underneath it and it's done. And you guys know you can bend the 
dipstick tube with a regular uh, copper pipe bender if you just be very careful and don't do the bend just soft bends you know what I mean but uh, that went much easier than I thought I'm happy with that cool all right all right all right end of the video the only thing left is to subscribe and hit that like button welcome back see you in the next video